to our latest episode on the Indian Brick Kilns by Union Solidarity International. Today we are delighted to be joined by one of the human rights and union, organizer, union organizers, Krishna. Krishna, it's a pleasure to have you with, with us today, my friend. How are you, first and foremost? I'm, I'm fine. I'm good evening, Andrew. I'm fine. Excellent. I know, Krishna, that you've been involved in a number of the human rights and union organising efforts in the brick kilns in several regions of India. And of course, just yesterday we had a visit by a member of parliament to the brick kilns as well to see the state that the workers are working in and living in with their families. Do you want to just give USI an update, Krishna, and some of the work you've been involved in. Yes, we invited the MP Jaypanda, Jaypanda Kendrapada uh, yesterday, uh, along with uh, some solidarity committee people, human rights people, and uh, uh, Sudhirji, myself, went to that place. Maheshwaram is a near Maheshwaram Mandal, Tukukuda village and Ravirala. The, when we went to the clean on the, on the day, uh, around 400 owners are there and uh, gathered and, uh, and talking, scolding me and uh, owners are to, told that do, don't come again in clean. If you are come, I sacrifice it in clean only. Krishna, don't come to the clean again. Owners are, versions is there. When I am MP, along with MP, in front of the MP, they have started beat at me. On the time, MP is, in, MP is instructed to the local police. After that, local police took me into the police van. Up to, up to meeting. I mean, it's just absolutely horrible to hear that you, Krishna, as well as other people have been the victims of physical abuse by some of the brick kiln owners. And as you described there, hundreds of them gathering to put pressure on the human rights and union organisers to say that if you come back to this area again, then we are going to threaten more physical violence against you. It's just an absolutely terrible situation which is going on in the brick kilns in India. Krishna, do you want to just explain in a little more detail some of the conditions that the workers are facing, including children working in the kilns as well. Yes, yes, yes. The, actually, children are preparing the, after the clean is over, they are preparing one own, you know, one solid place. They are turning the cleans early morning, late night, late night also, midnight. After that, the each, each brick dried. Yeah. Each brick dried it. After that, the bricks are going to the one place, like pyramid place, pyramid place. In between, in between time, children are working hardly, around four hours, five hours. And that is six to fourteen years, children are working hardly, especially adolescent, adolescent girls are also there. There is no precautions of the health precautions of the, there is no the allergic, eye allergic, skin allergic, diarrhea also is commonly in season of the May, April. April and May season is a number of children also died in Hyderabad surrounding areas. In government also not do the, this type of work, especially. Especially this type of work. In, in pregnant women also working hardly uh, 10 hours in clean. When we asking the, when we asking the precautions of health in front of the owners, they are refused me. And who are you come to the clean? This is our business. This is our territory place. Don't come to Krishna and if you come, again we'll beat you. Mm -hmm. This type of versions are there in preclean owners. Mm -hmm. So I'm just asking to the, I'm, I'm, I'm begging to the owners, please announce the minimum wage, minimum wage rate. As per the minimum wage act, 1948, per thousand bricks, 367.90 paisa. Yeah. Per pay, per pay, per thousand bricks for loading one place to another place, 
it is 186 rupees 50 paisa but owners are paying for 1000 bricks making only 200 to 220 rupees only the half of amount will pay after the season ending nobody can't get single amount also they are getting only train ticket train ticket also is a without reservation ticket per head 500 rupees up to two days journey in two days journey uh, their source uh, need to respect to native places when ba go back to their respective places in between in see every season around 50 families are died in going to the transport system very 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 hard children are so te not taking a good food in train mm -hmm. just we ask him the the increase the as per the government wages rate only mm -hmm. and the time owners are angry with me I'm I'm sure they are my friend uh, it's just a very desperate situation that you're portraying and telling us about today of children and pregnant women working zero safety regulations in place people not being paid the minimum wage sometimes nowhere near it it's just a very desperate situation Krishna that you are telling us about today are you able to explain some of the efforts that you and the Prayas labor team have been doing recently and some of the successes that you've had in terms of organizing the workers informing the workers and the family of their human rights are you able to tell us some of the work that has been going on and some of the small bits of progress that, that you're able to make despite this very hostile environment yes yes andrew when we are start, when we are thinking first we we form a union that union name is brooklyn workers union of rangareddy district after in after the union formation we do number of public meeting in dundigal place we are focusing the dundigal around uh, around in dundigal 100 brooklyns are there in Dundigal village. Dundigal village is the biggest, biggest cluster in there, in the surrounding of the Hyderabad only. Yeah. We are doing a, we, we, we are conducting media also. We, we, we are conducting media people also on the time. We do a union signatures with explaining each workers about that union. About that union. We form the, we, we, we form the unions uh, BF of uh, workers of Odisha. We, we we go to the labor department. We we feel that this is the union. We please we please confirm that union will start in Rangareddy district. Yeah. And BF of union we do we recently do the, a meeting on 25th 25th uh, March 25th March we conduct a meeting in Dundigal public meeting awareness of the minimum wages and uh, other issues in Kings. We ask directly for owners, just announce the, please announce the how much for 1000 bricks will pay in this season. But owners are not, till they not tell that anything, any announcement or any, any kind of uh, instructions are not given owners. Then workers are do as a slaves in clean surrounding areas. Yeah. Krishna, thank you for that update and some of the efforts that you've been involved in, including the formation of the union, the brick kiln workers of Ranga Reddy. It's an absolute privilege that Union Solidarity is as supportive and associated with the work that you are doing. And we're only too pleased and humbled to be able to do anything that we can from the UK and Ireland and beyond to try and highlight the fantastic and inspiring work that you're involved in my friend and we look forward in the coming weeks and months as the brick kiln season ends and you will be going to the source areas to do more organizing work and educational and information awareness raising work in preparation for the new season so that the workers 
where you can are organised before coming to the brick kilns. It's been a privilege and pleasure to speak to you today, Krishna. Thanks very much, my friend. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.